Hello Renaissance Concurrent Credit students! This video will show you how to use a couple of the ISU library's resources for your literary criticism project. A lot of you may not even realize that you can use the ISU library's resources. You can, and these are great! We have access to stuff that the high school doesn't, so you might as well take advantage of it. ISU has a search box which searches all of our databases. In this case, all means hundreds of databases. So if you're really into getting tens or even hundreds of thousands of results, you're welcome to search here. But I think it would be better for your mental health if you use just the databases that will be helpful for this project. You can find them by going to the Research Guides tab and then selecting the Literary Criticism RHS Dual Credit Students and then click Go or you can go directly to the link. All of the databases listed here will require you to log in before you can use them. You should have an ISU ID number and you will use this and your last name to log in. If you don't know your ISU ID number, ask the ISU librarian or someone at the ISU front office. I'm only going to cover a couple of the tools here as I don't want you to get overwhelmed. We're going to start with Gale Literary Sources. If you search nothing else, search here. It includes six literature and literary criticism databases in one. You can search these one by one if you want, or just search all of them at once by searching in this box up here. Let's do a search on Philip K. Dick's Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep? As you start typing it in, the database is trying to guess what you want, which is great because that means less typing you generally want to select the one that has the word novel in parentheses. And a word of caution for those of you with more modern works, you may not find a lot related to your book or theme when searching this database. It's not you, it's this resource. Okay, when you do a search and you actually find stuff, you will find some options over at the right hand side that can make your search more specific. Generally you're focusing on things like literary criticism or the topic and work overviews. You can also search within the results, which can be really handy. So if you want to focus on something like humanity, this will bring up just the sources that talk about Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep and humanity. Now you can start browsing through some of the titles. These are almost always pretty specific and sometimes kind of weird. I'm just going to click on one of them and bring it up. Generally, these are really, really long. Sometimes that's great but sometimes you just want to find what you want to find. So let's say I'm looking specifically for empathy. So I'm just going to do a control F or whatever your find feature is on your computer and look for empathy. Scrolling down to get specifically what I want. So hooray for saving time. And if this is an article that you really like, you can download the PDF and save it. You can also listen to it. You can download the MP3 if you want to listen to it offline. You can save it. Generally, you have to log in That's to create an account for that. Email it, print it, highlight it, whatever. There are citation tools associated with all of these articles. And it's really helpful to know what MLA is supposed to look like before you just copy and paste this and put it in your paper. Because these tools don't always get it right. Now feel free to play around with some searching and some of the search tools that I didn't cover because there is a lot here. We are going to move on to another resource called JSTOR. JSTOR is not primarily a literature focused database, so it's a good idea to put the title of the work or the author in quotes. This will force the database to search it just as you're typing it. Now in JSTOR you can find hundreds or even thousands of results depending on how much people have written about your work. So if you type in the title or the author and you get way too much, then it is time to make it more specific. So in this case, I am going to focus on the concept of individuality. So I will add that in there. I'm down to just 19, which is a lot better. Like the literary sources database, you can limit it either by date or by the type of subject, but with only 19, it's fine to just browse through it. So let's click on this one. And similar to the literary sources, some of these can be very, very long. And you will find some overlap from what you find in the literary sources databases to what you find here. If this looks like an article that will be useful for you, go ahead and download it. 
JSTOR always asks you to accept their terms and conditions, so go ahead and say yes, and then it will download the PDF for you. Feel free to print this off or save it from this point. There are other resources out there, both from the ISU library and those that are freely available, like Google or Google Scholar. But I think you should be able to find at least a few sources via Gale and JSTOR. Stop by the library if you need any help, and happy searching!